Greetings folks, this is a chuck glider from Banggood. It's the one metre wingspan, I guess it's called the Cheetah. Doesn't say so on the product page. Uh, and because of the crazy popularity of the little glider, uh, it makes such a wonderful little plane for converting to RC, I thought uh, let's try something else. And this one looks like a pretty good candidate as well because we just can't get the little glider uh, in Australia easily. So this one, this one's sort of uh, a lot finer, more of a glider shape, I suppose. It just slots together like that. Uh, elevator just slots in there. Made from nice flexi EPP. Probably get by without doing any strengthening, I think, for such a lightweight. Maybe, maybe a, a bit of carbon strip along the bottom, possibly. Uh, so I'm going to turn this into a slope sawer because I love slope sawers, and then I don't have to put a motor on and all that sort of malarkey. Uh, what else can we show you? The canopy does come off. Uh, that's just sort of friction fit on that little key there. It has a couple of little ball bearings in there for, for balance weight. Comes in a few different colours. This is the red one. I think there's a blue and a green and a yellow one maybe. Uh, but yeah, red's pretty cool. So what am I going to do? I'm going to gouge out here to give me some space to put some electronics in. I'll cut out these ailerons. Uh, may need to do a bit of strengthening there because the wing will be pretty narrow. I'll cut an elevator. A couple of tiny servos in the wings and one little servo down here just for the elevator to start off with. I may eventually go for a rudder as well. We'll see. And we'll make a nice little slope saw. I think what I'm going to use the awesome little RX4R receiver from FR Sky. This is a, one of the smallest receivers I've ever seen. Uh, and this is the new breed of receiver uh, that gives 40% increase in range over the X series, which has awesome range anyway. And you can put access firmware on it to make it work uh, with the latest access uh, protocol on the X9 light radios. You can also just use it as the normal D16 or ACCST protocol as long as you've got the right firmware on the radio. So RX4R that'll fit in there beautifully. You can also use this uh, via SBUS on a flight control board, 16 channels. Has the smart match technology from Access. Also has smart ports so you can connect all your uh, smart port enabled telemetry sensors to it. Just an amazing little receiver. Anyway, that's going to go well. We don't need the range with the, the uh, slope soaring function, of course, but it's just so small, it's going to fit in there beautifully. All right, so I'll go off and uh, install some electronics and we'll go out for a fly. So I've gouged out the uh, fuselage here, 
so I can fit the battery. Beautiful little RX4R receiver. And I have a BEC there. Right, so I'll just fit that all in there, close it up and see what it weighs. So set up as a sloper, that is 175 grams. So I've used a Turnigy 56MG uh, little 5 gram digital servos there in the wings and in the elevator. Put a little magnet here just to hold the hatch. Uh, dug out a bit of the hatch there. BEC battery receiver all sit in there. Balanced. That's going to be roughly right for slope soaring. Ready to go. We just need reasonable conditions. This is not a good idea. We've got probably 20 knots out there. Try that little chuck light. I have ballasted it up a little bit. Can handle this sort of window. Highly likely to lose it over the bank. Fella go. So after that little flexi fest I decided to stiffen the wing with a edge on 6 by one millimeter carbon fibre strip just from servo to servo and I just decided to put an extra one in here because that little bit of foam is pretty weak so another spar uh, this is 3 mil by 0.5 mil Alright, we've stiffened up the wings, we've got a little bit less wind Hopefully the Chucky will handle it better. I know it will. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, this is a cool little plane. Wow, what a great little slope sawer. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> it's 
See if we can get a loop out of it. <clears throat> yeah, no problems. Wow. Bit more ballast, this would be cool. <laughs> what a river! This is actually very good. Wow. Who would have thought? Fast downwind run. Hey, how cool is this? I'm reaching for the rudder already, but I haven't got one. <laughs> Could do with one. Woo, what was that? That was a get out of jail. Hmm, I feel like I want more throws. Make it a, it's so close to being a, a, a really good aerobatic slope slower. Might as well go all the way. Give it bigger control surfaces, bigger throws. Make it into a little acrobat. Hello. <laughs> That's cool. That works really well. I want to put a bit more ballast in. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we put one big washer in there. Let's see what that does to it. Yeah, it feels better faster. Really wants a rudder, just so you can flip those uh, stall turns. Feels better with more ballast, you could even go more. Whoa, it's fast. <laughs> Yay, it went over. How cool. Oh, right into the sun. What a great little sloper that is. Fantastic.